हेलो फ्रेंड गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट खान बाबा गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माय वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर स्पोर्टिंग नो लाइट स्टार्ट द टूडे इन्फॉर्मेशन Government parliamentary meeting today discusses boosting non-oil revenues and developing the economy. Iraq is going to be needing non-oil revenues. We all know that. The last 18 month, almost 2 years, has been to get Iraq to a private sector and to get them to boost their non-oil revenues. I have always stated, if the dinar is ever going to go up in value, it will be based on iraq's economic success this is clearly the path iraq is taking nothing is random only with the success and growth can we see an increase in value the good news is we are seeing progress the operating budget is already approved and complete they're going to be adding additional funds to it that's why the budget remains incomplete they have to amend it to add the additional supplementary funds to it and increase and change the budget's expenditures that's all that we're waiting on central bank governor we have put in place methods to secure the provision of dollars and are subject to strict supervision alack announced today wednesday that all transfers are subject to auditing processes while he indicated that the decline in oil prices has nothing to do with the rise in the exchange rate on november the 20th to the 21st we have a curfew for the very first census in the last 27 years it looks like sadani ordered for this new census to occur for your hcl benefits as iraqi citizens It seems to me the only reason he's doing it now is because you have a new exchange rate that they can work with. If not, there wouldn't be a new census as they determine the fair amount everyone is supposed to get. This new census emo screams that there is a new exchange rate. They are now telling us they can see light at the end of the proverbial tunnel. No. They do not directly tell us this but you can read into the articles and understand the tone. One of the loose ends is the much needed amendments to the Iraq investment law. They told us in an article that the WTO requested some changes to the law. In this same article, they told that this was the only issue holding Iraq back from full accession. So, what pops out in the recent news? The article is titled Parliamentary Economy Committee discusses amending the investment law. The Iraqi legislative arena is currently witnessing intensive discussions about the fourth amendment to investment law number no. 13 of 2006 as amended in light of the significant expansion of investment activity in the country in recent years. So we may see this law very soon. Then the WTO I have a number of group leaders and bankers who swear we are getting it. In the next 4-5 days, I sure hope they are right. Have a great day. Take care and goodbye.